a baby boy. I'm going to have a son. Oh, I'm so excited to meet him, as I am sure he is excited to meet us. I know Liz is excited as well, even though she wanted a baby girl. But, well, there's always next time. But two, two is my max. So if we have two boys, well, she'll just have to dress the other one in dresses. Well, I see you enjoy watching Minecraft. Well, I have another channel where I'm able to play Minecraft and Roblox, so if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description, and that's for my other channel, Proper Dummies. So go show that some love, and let's get into this next episode of Minecraft High School. Just tell us, dude. We won't say anything. Carson isn't even here right now. He's the dummy that would slip up and say something. I know he is, but I have to stand where my wife told me to on this situation. I'm sorry. You just have to wait till Saturday like everyone else is having to do. We aren't even telling our parents, dude, okay? That's how these parties are supposed to go. So, I have to stand where Liz tells me to, so... Yeah. Alright, alright, I'll stop asking. I just want to know if I'm right at this point. Well, Kevin, you might be. Are you saying it's a girl? <laughs> no, I just said you might be right. You might also be wrong. It's a 50-50. I hate you, Bert. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. It's not fair. You and Liz get to know. Why not us? Well, Jay, because it's our kid, you dum dumb. Hey, now, that's not nice. I just want to know if I won the bet. <laughs> I know you guys want to know about this bet that you guys are doing, and I'm actually surprised you guys are actually doing the bet. Hey, I, I hope you guys heard what I said earlier today about it. Oh, you mean how about the winnings go to you and Liz? Yeah, we heard. We'll all stand behind that. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah. Well, then you got a few more days to get your bets in and put your money in if you want to put a little bit more in. Well, don't tempt us. <laughs> I'll try not to. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head inside. Liz wanted to relax with me a bit tonight. So um, you guys can hang out back here as long as you like. Just make sure you turn off the furnaces when you're done. Peace. All right. Let's go inside and chill with the lady. Nothing wrong with that. I haven't really been able to hang out with her this nice and close in quite a while. I've been busy with work and she's been babysitting quite a bit. So it'll be nice just to relax with her. I look at her doing dishes. <laughs> hey, honey. I'm in for the night. It's weird not going to work, but... I'm not complaining, I suppose. I'm sure you're not complaining as well, but it, it, it's different. It really is. Oh, I bet. That's why I thought we could relax together, especially seeing as you have off. Maybe even take a bubble bath together. Well, it's more like three people in the bathtub now. Are you saying I'm fat? No, no, no. I, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm just saying you're carrying a four-month-old baby in your belly. So, three people. Me, you, and our son. I know, I'm just giving you a hard time. Not cool, Liz. Not cool. I couldn't help myself. So how did hanging with the boys go? It went well. They continued to insist that I tell them the gender, though. And did you buckle? Oh, no, not at all. I did find out something interesting, though. What's that? Well, they're placing bets on the gender. All the winnings go to us. Well, as much as I dislike people placing bets on my unborn child... I do, however, like the idea of the winnings helping us. <laughs> exactly. Exactly my thought as well. <laughs> so, this gender reveal party. I know it's Saturday, but what time should it be at? Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, how's 12 p.m. sound? That works. The reveal will be at 2 p.m. I'll start making the invitations tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sounds perfect. Now, um, hmm, about that bubble bath. You read my mind. <laughs> awesome. I'll go get the bath running. Oh, man. As a guy, I know I shouldn't enjoy bubble baths, but man, they are actually quite nice. Oh, man. What a lovely night's rest. And now I smell like bubble baths, so hopefully that will last for the rest of the day. Oh, I love the smell of lavender. It's just such a pretty smell. 
I'm probably the least manly when it comes to bubble baths, and I don't even think I care. <laughs> All right, well, it's off to school. Only a few more days till the weekend, and then we'll have this gender reveal party. Till then, I'm going to have to deal with the guys annoyingly asking me, just tell us, just tell us. And I'm going to be like, no, no, and no. <sighs> oh, it smells good in here, too. But I also smell something else. Breakfast. That's what I smell. I smell me some breakfast. Let's get downstairs and get some in my belly. All right. Oh, God, I love the smell of crescent rolls in the morning. Crescent rolls and lavender. Who'd have thunk that was a good thing? <laughs> Good morning, handsome. How'd you sleep? Ah, yeah, I slept wonderfully. I also smell like lavender from last night's bubble bath. So, maybe handsome, but hmm, I may smell oh so pretty as well. Oh my word, you're such a dork. <laughs> yeah, that that's true. Hey, um, thanks for breakfast as always. I love being spoiled by you if you didn't know. I don't mind spoiling you. You work hard for me and our future family. Well, now we're just getting sappy. You work hard, too. <laughs> hey, before I forget, make sure to stop out your parents and let them know about the party on Saturday. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Good deal. I'm actually going to head to my father's now. I'll see you at school, all right? Yeah, sounds good, babe. Uh, tell him I said hey for me, okay? Will do. Now, eat up and don't be late for school. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Don't worry about me being late. Well... No, I shouldn't be late. I'm a pretty quick eater. <laughs> All right, have fun. All right, well, the wife is gone. Now I get to eat like a like a slob, and I'm okay with that. Oh my god. Oh, that was good, but now it's gone. Oh, there's not even any crumbs. Why am I still hungry? Uh, maybe I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, you're just getting fat, Bert. Maybe, maybe because I see my wife's belly growing, I think maybe I should be allowed to have my belly grow. Maybe it's like sympathy pains, except sympathy belly size. Yeah, that might be something. I don't know. I have to Google that and see if that's a thing. All right. Well, let's get to school. But before I get to school, I need to stop by mom and dad's and let them know about the gender reveal party. I don't know why we're not getting them an invitation. Uh, I don't know, but... Liz said to stop by mom and dad's and let them know, and that's what I'm going to do. Apparently, we're not getting them an invitation, even though they probably would want to hold on to that for memory's sake, but I don't know. I'll make sure she makes one for at least, you know, mom, because I'm sure she'll like to keep that on the fridge or something like that, because that's something mom does. She keeps those kind of things. She loves her sentimental things, and there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, man. Well, off to school, and now I have to... Be annoyed by all my friends harassing me, basically saying we want to know the gender, and I'm going to have to continue to let them know till Saturday they gotta wait. And that's going to be annoying because what is it like Wednesday now? Thursday? Hey, I'm gonna have to deal with that for a few days. That's gonna be annoying. I wish I could eat at the cafe. Everyone's lucky in being able to eat there. I could eat more food, but I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna be fat one day. I can just feel it. I'm a skinny little toothpick right now, but gosh darn it, it's going to catch up to me. That metabolism's going to go bye-bye. I can just feel it. Oh, all right. Well, just got to let mom and dad know as long as they're home. And if they're not, maybe I'll just run to mom's work, but we'll see. Yeah. Hey, hey buddy. Um, is mom or dad home? No, mom left before I woke up and dad is sleeping. He's on nights. Oh, so what you mean is dad is home, but... I just can't talk to him. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, can you let Mom know that Liz is having a gender reveal party on Saturday? It'll be at 12 p.m. Liz and me would really like her and Dad to be there. Yeah, I'll let her know. So a gender reveal party? Does that mean you know the gender? Hey, yeah, yeah, we know the gender. Well, what is it? Just... Tell everyone now so you don't have to have a party. <laughs> it's something Liz wants to do, you dork. So, I can't tell you. I can't tell anyone. Only people who know are Liz and me. If I guess right, will you tell me? No. You have to wait till the party, bud. You're invited as well, obviously. I know I said mom and dad, but yeah, I want you there as well. Well, glad to know I'm invited. But 
I'll let mom know as soon as I get home from school. I, I promise. All right, good deal. Well, I'll see you at school. Later, bro. Later, bud. Right. Okay. Off to school. Mom now knows, as long as Austin's not an idiot and doesn't tell her. And, um, yeah, just a few more days, and I get to tell all my friends that I'm having a boy. Oh, boy, I'm so excited for everyone to know. Maybe this one will actually enjoy sports, unlike me. I enjoy watching sports, but just not good at playing them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>